Greetings and salutations to you all my good chums. My name is Richard, this is Gentlemanly Gaming and welcome back to Grand Strategy Sunday and Crusader Kings 2 in real life. Last time on the show, our main man here, Emir Bahanadin. I still need to learn that. It's not as easy as Hafiz. Um, he took back some of the control in his life. He, uh, he decided that he was going to choose his own wives in future after the diabolical uh, situation that happened to us last time. So we we went out and we got ourselves a new wife, Emir uh, Shamim here. She is uh, a 43-year-old, attractive, well-groomed, ambitious zealot, which is probably why we get on with her so much. We, uh, we like her a lot. She was uh, by far and away... The uh, the only woman that we've ever seen that we would we would truly say that we love, you know. I would say anything over seventy five would equate to love, you know. Because sometimes you can love someone with all of your heart, but still find them very annoying from time to time, you know. So that's why I say there's a little bit of leeway. I think fifteen points, you know, 25, 50, 75. You know, I think that they're they're good markers for how well you you like someone but anyway yeah that's what he decided to do we also had the announcement that jihads are back on the table so maybe the caliph here caliph isa might call a jihad against some people around us that don't have our religion maybe he'll be able to claw back some land for himself maybe he can start to provide us with a little bit more protection once again because yeah as you can see on the map right now the abbasids not as big and as strong as they once were but we've known that for a long time haven't we so it's all about whether he can claw some land back maybe from this kingdom right here but these guys are looking pretty powerful in and of themselves so uh yeah he's got nearly thirty-one thousand troops so Ain't much happening against them, it seems. They've pretty much taken all over India and, yeah, started spread out into the Persia and Iran regions. So, yes, that's that's what happened last time on the show. Uh, we also passed by the year 1000. We've been playing for 236 years now, and I was saying that I'm trying to think of an end point for this series. I, I, I want the end point to have some meaning, some actual resonance rather than just an arbitrary I'm gonna call it here kind of thing um, as I said I wanted that to be one of the big ones you know Aztecs Mongols Black Death doesn't seem that any of those are gonna come now next ones would have been uh, independence and maybe the kingdom of Saudi Arabia but we need to have the right kind of leader for those ones and uh, Buhanadin is not that guy so we don't know what's going on there yet uh, and then I thought maybe the last one would be perhaps after we've been playing for 300 years. You know, because it was just a proof of concept for this for this series. That you can play it in a true roleplay sense of the word. And still have A, a good time and B, survive. But, um, yeah, I didn't, I wanted it to be a bit of a story as well. I didn't, I, you know, I knew you could play like this. I think most people know that you can, but... I, I, I haven't seen the, the actual story on any YouTube series that I've watched and uh, that was kind of part of it for me as well is to tell you the tale of the dynasty of the Abd al Qais. but um, we need to find an end point and uh, I don't know where that's going to come from otherwise so we're going to continue on for now hopefully something will reveal itself throughout the general gameplay of it all but uh if not then yeah we need to start trying to think about a place that we can call this series and maybe maybe after 300 years so in the year 1069 might be a good place to stop potentially 1066 historically a big date in historical terms for Europe mainly, you know, not not necessarily our part of the world. Wow, Carpathia. Well done, you. 
I did not know. I did not see that. You, you, you've pulled yourselves back together fantastically. And Denmark has been pretty much. You got a bit of Denmark there. You actually. Oh, you are. Yeah. So Denmark is. You got a little bit of Denmark there, but mainly been isolated out to Iceland. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah. Ten sixty six historically. Uh, a big event for Europe happens, but not so much in our part of the world. So, 1069, maybe we'll make that our our year instead. Or well, we might be able to change. Uh, one of your beloved wives con covets the position of first wife. Has been trying to woo you into elevating her to our status. Now, if this is uh, Shi Shi Shima, is that her name? Her name is uh, Shamim. If it's Shamim, then definitely she's going to be my first wife. Absolutely, yes. Oh wow, my why has my opinion gone down of her so much? What happened? Wow Okay, the honeymoon period is over. We are no longer that interested in my wife again. What happened there? I mean I think I still like her more, don't I? But yeah, bloody hell. Is it just because she became honest? I mean, what's the... What's the opposite of honest? It, it, would it be deceitful, I guess? I mean, that's the only thing I can see that's different, is that she's... She's got the trait honest, but I don't see why that would make it so that I dislike her so much. Is it because she's rivaled with my wife? I mean, I still like her the best, but nowhere near as much as I did. Wow. Not sure what happened there, but yeah, she's going to become my, my first wife. But yeah, wow, that was a that was a big change of opinion, wasn't it? And you're just kind of there ticking along in the background. Haven't really been doing much, have you? You've just been kind of there. Haven't heard about you a lot. You have a bloodline, which would be nice if we could get a kid out of you, because they'd have that bloodline too. But, uh, okay, well, yeah, first wife, but, yeah, don't seem to like her that much anymore. Dear, dear, dear. We have a jihad for Persia. The Shia Caliph, Abdul Qadar II, has decided to declare jihad on the depraved heathens in the kingdom of Persia. So he has gone to war with that big, uh, how do you pronounce it? Rashtrakuta. Rashtrakuta. Um, he urges all righteous Shia Muslims to partake in the righteous struggle against Samrat Ah Ahavamala of the Rashtrakuta Empire for the glory of Islam. Okay, well we saw how powerful he was. How powerful are you? You don't have anywhere near the strength to take him on. So unless, unless people. I wonder if I'm still related to you. Or did they got they got completely overthrown, right? I'm pretty sure my Yeah, the person that I was related to got completely overthrown. Yeah, I think that that, that kingdom we lost our connection to them a long time ago, I think. Because they were, de I was definitely related to the leader there at one point, but a, I can't remember how long ago it was, and b, I can't remember what his name was. And they had a, they had a lot of. I'm pretty sure they had a big civil war at one point. They've broken and fractured up a little bit. So yeah, there's a, there's a second one here. See, so it could be this line as well, maybe. But anyway, yeah, I don't... Unless you get a lot of people coming to your side, but I'm pretty sure you're the only um, 
Shia religion in the world right now, aren't you? Um, yeah, you're... You are the only Shia people in the entire world and not even your whole realm is Shia. So I really don't foresee you having a lot of people joining your jihad, unfortunately. But, you know, good luck to you. Okay, so we have a new heir, which means that that big powerful guy, yeah, who was paranoid, he has died and his replacement is a child. So he's not going to be on the council yet. So we need to find ourselves a new councillor. But, uh, yeah, hopefully. I don't really like him, but he likes me enough. So it shouldn't really cause too much of a problem right now. But, yeah, so we got a new heir. But, uh, hopefully I'm going to have my own kid at some point, which will keep the succession in our line specifically, not just a... Uh, um, a kinsman of mine, basically. Okay, so we've had an important decision that can come up. I can donate 300 uh, to Bektashi for piety. Now, Bektashi, I'm assuming that's the holy order. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's the holy order that we've just had. So I can donate 300 to them for piety. That will... I mean, I'm only three away from doing it anyway. But as soon as we hit 2,000, I'm going to become a paragon of virtue. So... I mean, I could do that now. It's only 300. I have I have more than enough gold to do that. It's, it's not a problem. But if I'm going to get, I mean, how much do I make a month? Five. I'm So I'm going to clear that in a second anyway. So I'm going to wait to do that for the time being. Or no, that's, no, that's, that's me making that decision. I'm, I'm, I'm making that decision based on gameplay that I'm going to get the piety in a minute. So I don't need to do that. That's me playing the game. That's not me thinking as Bohanadin here. Bohanadin is a pious individual and he is not looking at figures on a on a a HUD here. You know, that's that's not what he does. That 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 yeah, that is me making this decision for gameplay, not how he would do it. So he is going to donate the money. Your Highness, this extremely generous donation will not be forgotten. You have my friendship as well as that of the priesthood. Rest assured that you will be rewarded in heaven, if not on earth. Praise Allah. Now, does that make you like me a little bit more? Generous donation, yes. Yeah. So you've gone up of me because I've done that for you. So... Uh, praise be to Allah. There we go. So that's now taken me over that, which means when I unpause, I'm going to achieve that um, that ambition. That's the word. But yeah, gotta stop thinking about me. I'm I'm I was doing that because I was thinking, well, I'm going to get that in a minute, so I don't need to waste the money on doing that. But that isn't how I should be thinking. I should be thinking no. Bahana Din is a pious individual and if there was an option to donate money to this cause he would donate money to this cause regardless of ticking amounts that are going to be coming in per month that that isn't how we should be looking at that so yeah that that that's my bad there I apologize but we've done that now so that's fine I'm also going to put that on a reminder because he's probably going to want to do that again at some point um so that is fine as i said when i unpause we're gonna we're gonna get into that it's gonna clear that ambition and we can start looking at a new ambition so 
There it is. Emir Buhanadin of the Abd al-Qaizem fulfilled the ambition to become a paragon of virtue. I am now known as the Holy. Emir Buhanadin the Holy. There we go. So he has achieved that goal. He has achieved that aim. Oh yeah, by the way, I got ill again. Um, and I haven't found a, uh, a treatment for it yet. So uh, the, the doctor thinks it's gout. But the the doctor also doesn't like me, does he? Because he uh, he refused to not make any plots against me. So, but uh, yes, we need to find. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, confident your symptom is not due to a serious illness, and it will pass quite soon. Nevertheless, you will receive some mild treatment. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we need to pick a new ambition. Maybe it should be to stop getting ill all the time. Uh, what have we got up here? Become King of Arabia, acquire a title, groom an heir. Hmm. Now there's none, nothing in there that would suggest anything, really. Yeah, there's nothing. The only thing that would really make sense is grooming an heir, but there's there's nothing in me that suggests I would want to do that. I can change my focus as well now, can't I? Yeah. But, again... Nothing there that I really want to do. The only other thing would just be switching straight from theology straight to scholarship. See, that will unlock the ability to build an observatory. Probably the 8th or ninth observatory in our little realm, to be honest with you. I don't know where we're putting them all. But he isn't that kind of person anyway. There's nothing in him that would suggest he'd want to... Because he's very much a... Because he's a zealot. He's very much a... Theology, you know, like... The stars and the heavens are there because that's how God made them. End of story. No need to investigate anymore. Go to bed. So, yeah. So I don't really see anything to switch out to. There's, um, I mean, I could go to a family focus, and then that would give me the right to do the ambition for grooming an heir. But there's nothing in him that. I mean, he doesn't like any of his wives that much. There's nothing in him that would suggest that he'd want to do that. He's shy, in fact. So, I'm going to quickly see if I can find another wife. And if I find another wife, then maybe we'll consider going to a family focus. But if I don't find another one, then I don't really see any reason to A, change my focus, and B, in that case choose any kind of ambition because none of those really fit Bahanadin but I mean he might not be around for much longer anyway he, this guy's got really bad health issues he's had them his whole life apparently so but let's see what we can do let's see if we can find anyone and then we'll uh, we'll go we'll make our decision from there nope can't find anyone uh there's no one i mean the highest one i saw was 38 something like that and that's like just about above my current wife and, and i wouldn't have even married her had her points been had my opinion been this of her when i first discovered her i mean you saw it at the beginning of the episode it was 77 so we've lost 50 from that and I, I have no idea where that went and yeah I, I wouldn't have married her had the, it been this low initially so yeah there's there's no one out there at the moment which means I don't think that we want to really change uh, 
I mean, this has given us plus one health as well. This just gives us plus three learning. There isn't really anything that we need that for. So I'll probably just stick on a theology focus. And yeah, there's no ambitions really at the moment that fit us. So yeah, we achieved our, our lifetime goal of uh, becoming a paragon of virtue. We are now known as the Holy and uh, I think we're pretty much happy with that. So apparently I have gout, yeah. So, uh, you are pained with hot, swollen joints which disturb your sleep. You have contracted gout. Now, uh, yeah, 65% chance of a normal illness, that's the highest. 20% chance of a mild illness. 10% chance of a severe illness. 5% chance I become bedridden. So, let's see what it is. Uh... Just a normal illness, it seems. Uh, right, he offers me a treatment. Uh, I don't... Okay, my opinion isn't terrible of him anymore. And he loves me. So why do you want to... Why aren't you going to go in any bloody factions against me then? Uh, right, your court physician, Shikalim of Mecca, has come to see you and offers treatment for your illness. Right, um... I am a coward, aren't I? Yeah, so uh, please only do what is necessary. So we'll find out whether that does anything. Uh, offered you a clear potion in a gilded vial. As you had tasted some previous remedied of a limbs, you were not you were worried at first, but as you drank it, you could detect neither odor nor taste. You inquired about the ingredients, but he told you that it was a secret recipe. Now, if I didn't know better, I would assume that that was poison. Because this guy, yeah, he he uh, refused to do anything. But apparently, uh, yeah, I got mild treatment. So that, that should negate half of it. Yeah, but I have got minus one already from stressed. So I'm going to go down to minus one health anyway. But hopefully we're not going to have any issues in the current time it'll be nice if we could uh oh okay and my wife apparently is not in good state either uh she has the flu i would say she had excellent symptom treatment though i would say that that's not terribly bad but this is the middle ages so it is very bad actually now uh yeah i don't hate her so, yeah, uh, I'll ask for the physician, that's fine. Um, okay, I guess, uh, yeah, I am suffering from illness at the moment. So, yeah, I will go into hiding, uh, seclusion, I would say. That wasn't very long at all. Uh, I come out, yeah, feeling a lot better. 10% uh, chance of diligence? No, I didn't get it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm suffering with gout and my wife is suffering from flu, so yeah, health problems galore in the uh, al Qais household. Uh, I'm being attacked again because I'm the spy master, aren't I? Oh, that's something, yeah, actually, that is, because I have no intrigue. I don't know why he wants me to be his spy master at all. Yeah, so I'm his spy master. So that's something. Yeah, I should probably go on to a uh, an intrigue focus. Yeah, okay, I could do that because I need to get better at that. So we're going to switch to an intrigue focus. Okay, that still did nothing because I'm not great. Uh, but yeah, no, no ambitions or anything. But yeah, okay, switch to an intrigue focus because that is... Uh, that, that makes sense. I want to get better at it because that is what I do for my liege. So, yeah. Okay. That, that makes sense. Okay. I forgot. I totally forgot about that. But I'm being attacked again. So, let's see what happens this time. I'm... There's 25% chance I might die. I'm not in great shape. So, even if I get wounded, that's really going to hit my... My um, health quite a lot. Let's see what happens. I managed to flee the floods by escaping through the back door. Okay, so nothing hurt but my pride, basically. Okay, so I got away. Injury three. That's good, because that could have gone really bad. 
Okay, so <laughs> just went for another health thing. So I'm currently stressed with gout, with a fever, fatigue, and having headaches. So that's what? Minus one, minus three, minus four, minus 4.25. Minus 4.75 health at the moment. Plus, so minus 4.25. Uh, minus 3.25. Okay, so minus 3.25 to my health right now. So, not great. But, in other news, my confidence has grown and I don't feel so awkward anymore. So, I'm going to lose the trait shy. That's just because I've run out of things. So, it wants to take some stuff away to, to create some space. But, I'm no longer shy. So, there's that. Um, that might actually help with the whole wife search. So, I'm going to take another quick look at that and see if anything's changed on that front. Nah, not that I could see. Nothing's particularly changed there. So, at the moment, we just carry on how we are. Shame there's not an ambition to, you know, like, get better health. You know, like, exercise more. I mean, I guess hunting would be that, wouldn't it? But, you know, it's... You need to be into hunting to do that, you know. Maybe I could play games, you know, outside instead. But, yeah. Well, anyway, we are basically at death's door but at least we're not shy anymore there are so many things to do so many responsibilities filling my mind that i barely have any time left to sleep or eat yep all this stress is turning me into a hollow shell of my former self but what else can i do the life of an emir is not easy uh who has time for food anyway so i'm gonna get potentially malnourished uh, I get stress relief though, which gives me more health. But I can't imagine malnourished is great. Yeah, fertility and personal combat skill. No, this is too much. I need to eat something. Force yourself to change your dieting and sleeping habits and get back into shape. I was just talking about that, wasn't I? So, headaches and fatigue, fever, gout, and stress. So, yeah, I was just talking about getting back into shape, wasn't I? But I don't know if there's anything in me that would suggest I would do that. There's nothing in me that would suggest that I wouldn't eat either. Hmm... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Temperate would make me think. But fasting, yeah, because I'm zealous as well, aren't I? So fasting makes you feel better during Ramadan, doesn't it? And it brings you closer to God. I think that, that makes more sense, doesn't it? Yeah, God is punishing me with all of this ill health. I've, I've clearly done something to upset him. Therefore, I should try and... Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep abstaining and potentially become malnourished. Uh, so, I am gonna get that. So, there we go. I've become malnourished as well. Your mind is clouded and a dull red rash is spreading across your body. You feel hot and your joints ache. You have contracted camp fever. Okay, so I'm going to lose all of these and get camp fever. Okay, so camp fever and malnourished. And gout and stressed. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I'm, I'm clinging on to life right now, aren't I? It doesn't seem like I'm... 
long for this world. But yeah, he's going to come. Um, please only do what is necessary. Uh, I was convinced that the best course of treatment would be some rest. He summoned you. He surrounded you in soft pillows and gently tucked you in under your many layers of blankets before Alim left your chambers. He pulled your curtains shut. It was noon. I feel better, I think. Is that going to give me... Didn't give me any... Kind of... No. So, yeah, going to bed and resting was probably the best option. Um, but, yeah, he... See, he... Hasn't secluded himself yet. So, that's why I haven't secluded myself. But I'm pretty sure Camp Fever... Oh, it's not. Oh, it's over here. But I'm over here. Oh, okay, whatever. But, um... Yeah, that'll be why he hasn't secluded himself yet. So if he doesn't seclude himself, then I don't seclude myself because I'm not smart enough to figure that out. So I have to go by what he advises me, even though my opinion of him isn't great anymore. But, you know, they have all of the power in my realm right now. So, oh, okay. Uh, the gall of my wife. She barged into my room this morning telling me that I better start eating more before I starve myself to death as if she has any business meddling in my private life. Now, it's not the one that I like the most, so I'm less inclined to listen to her anyway. Uh, so she has a point to start dieting to get back in shape. Um, or... That is none of her business. Hmm. I'm not a huge fan of her anyway. That's kind of meh. Plus, I'm pretty sure that if I don't absolutely adore her, she doesn't outrank, you know, God in my thinking. So, yeah, I'm just going to tell her that we're not interested in that. So, uh... Wali Nazim is rotting in a dungeon. I doubt I can do much to improve his opinion of me right now. Oh, okay. Uh, why are you in a dungeon? Did you... Oh, I'm assuming you got... Uh, caught in one of our battles up here then. Uh, yeah, you're in a dungeon up here. Right, okay. Okay, um... Well, I won't bother swaying you. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait till you get out of the dungeon. Uh, the ambassador smiles politely at me and gives me his best wishes before leaving the courtroom. I can scarcely find anybody that doesn't appreciate my helpful and eager attitude. Having to take care of everybody's problems may be vexing, but has allowed me to significantly increase my network of friends and allies both at court and abroad. I am always happy to be of service. I'm going to gain two diplomacy. This option is available because you have the malnourished trait. See, because I didn't eat, people like me more. Let that be a lesson to everyone, all right? <laughs> that's, that's a terrible lesson. Don't listen to it. Um... Right, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be to seek... Ill oh, no, it's to donate more money. Yeah, so, yeah, this is another reason why I'm definitely going to do it. Because, you know, God's mad at me right now. So I've obviously done something to offend him. So I need to try and get that piety back. You're going to love me as well, aren't you? 91, yeah. So there you go. Um, hopefully God will forgive me eventually and he will stop... Um, crippling me with all of these illnesses this is this is just a test i need to i need to you know be humble be happy be thankful be pious and and i will i will get through this on the other side i'm sure i will or i won't <laughs> literally literally the very next uh, me unpausing this happened so yeah um, so I won't I won't uh, I won't recover from this God God did not see fit to uh, to see me through this uh, right Emir Bohanadin is with the Horus in paradise at age 36 he died of camp fever 
barely eating anything, but Hanadin was known for his weak constitution. That he certainly was. Many at court were fearing that his habits would lead him to an untimely demise for years before his death. We are now playing as Emir Mansur. Merely two years old, the realm is left in the capable hands of the regent and council. Long live Emir Mansur. Now, because I'm a kid, uh, there is not going to be much that we can do with regards to wrestling power off of anyone. So, yeah, we're, um, we're basically just going to be growing into a world that is already decided for us this is the way it's always been this is the way you have to do it so first and foremost they're going to strip a lot of uh, domain off of me that's the first thing that they're going to do because they're not going to be particularly happy about that but let's uh one tick over there we go so you've now become my new regent um uh, I don't know why they're coming up and asking me. I'm two years old, so... My lord, something has been found in the library. A scribe catches up with me and... Uh, catches up with me? Where the hell am I? Uh, an old book from Emir Bahanadin. Where I, uh, when I join him for a closer inspection, I have to agree with the assessment. Old indeed, I sneeze. Wow, I'm good for a two-year-old. We should have someone care for it, the scribe suggests. Right. Um, yeah, I'm two. Uh, none of this is actually happening this, that there is yeah this is not actually happening I'm guessing he's talking to the regent right now so the regent is uh, is doing it now he absolutely loved Bahanadin. he was like plus 100 uh, towards the end he is scholarly theologian as well we cannot put a price on heirlooms. Yeah, see, he would... Oh, it's the magnum opus on stellar astrology, though. You're zealous. Yeah, I think you'll get rid of it, won't you? Because you won't be able to read it, so... Because you don't have the cipher disc, which means you you won't be able to read it, which even means that, A, you're not going to be able to read it, so you're going to be like, well, what's the point of keeping this anyway? It's just a bunch of gibberish. Or, B, you're going to be like, it's heretical, because it's obviously written in some sort of devil language. And it was obviously used for incantations and... Yeah, I think either way, you're going to throw it away. You're going to throw that away. So, there you go. It has been thrown away. Also, we're still in a war that I don't think we need to be in anymore. Um, right, I don't think we lost anything. No, we didn't lose anything. That's good. Um... I didn't want a claim on any of these anyway, that's fine. Do I still have the claim on... Yeah, I have a lot of claims. Emirate of Azerbaijan, yeah, okay. Uh, right, so we need to get this into shape, don't we? So what's the first thing? Um, the, we don't know, you don't have anything about you yet, so we can't do anything just yet. I don't know if the Regency will allow marriages again or not because if so then he might want to he doesn't have another daughter does he have a granddaughter yes he has three so he might want to tie them in again yeah he might want to I don't know if I can do this. Oh, I can do this. Okay. So, yeah, he's the regent. And he's also still the Grand Vizier, right? Yeah. So, he's going to want them... He's going to want that tied up again, isn't he? 
So he's going to look at this as a brand new kind of like fresh start, you know, and hopefully this one isn't gay. So, yeah, let's do that. He is going to get that done because that's something he definitely wants to get done first and foremost. Um, he wants to educate me. He's probably going to educate me in religion, isn't he? Yeah. So, he is going to educate me in faith. And he is going to be doing it himself, isn't he? So he's going to do that as well because he's going to want complete control over me again because this is his second chance. He didn't think that this was going to come around. He thought that once his daughter, you know, went flying off the edge of a cliff with some other woman, he thought, well, that's it. I'm, I'm never, that, that I've, my whole family, everything that my father tried to build for me this guy everything he tried to build has just been taken away from me because of my stupid idiotic naive daughter she went and ruined everything but he's been given a second chance that's why he's not gonna let this second chance go okay yeah I'm, I, I like that that makes sense uh, special titles uh, he's gonna set the crown focus but I think did I just set that to well? No. Um, but I think he's probably going to want to do it because he can't do his own. So yeah, he'll make this the crown focus again because he might as well. The council is discontent. Of course it is that I need to put councillors on there as well anyway. Uh, right, he is going to want you to go on Hajj for sure. Remember, we're doing everything through the region right now. So we need to think what the region will want. Uh, he'll want you to donate 300 yes he'll want you to do that uh, he will want you to ask him for help um, he will invite a holy man to court but he doesn't need to do that just yet he'll only probably do that when um, there's a mosque or something that we need to give away and that is all for the moment with regards to that uh open council positions yep so we need a we need our powerful vassals back on there again so you were the steward but you were the friend of the last guy which is why he made you the steward so maybe he'll want you doing something else you can't be the imam would he want you in charge of the army? Hmm. Or would he just want you back in your stewardship role? So there's only you for the moment. You're the only person that we need to... to get on there right now. Because we don't have any powerful vassals. Because I think that other one is still a kid right now, isn't he? So... Would he want you as a steward? Or as a marshal? I think he's happy with you to be the steward, right? So we're going to keep you in the stewardship role. But he has probably more power over you right now, doesn't he? So, what does he want you to do? See, you, I, I think you probably wanted to, you know, because you're gluttonous. You probably want to get money because you're decadent as well. See, your um, building thing went, so we don't want you overseeing construction anymore. So, I had you doing collecting taxes because I figured that made sense. Now... I don't know how much power he has over you now because he's scared. So I still don't think he has that much power over anyone. But you're also scared. So I think he could bully you into doing what he wants you to do. And what does he want you to do? 
Hmm, I think still studying technology, doesn't he? I think that's what he wants you to do. I think he wants you studying technology. That's what he wants. Right, and then who's the next powerful guy? You. Uh, you were the marshal anyway, so I think he'll keep you doing the marshal. Now, you are not scared. You're strong. So you can do pretty much whatever you want to do. So you're going to organize the army for the time being. Because you think you can whip them into shape. So that's good. And then we need a new imam. Is there anyone zealous? No. Hmm. You're kind and he's kind. So you got that. Gregarious, which means you'll probably have a little bit of charisma about you. Deceitful, which means you could probably hide something. And a theologian, which means that you've done religious studies as well, which means he'd be happy about that. You're chased just trusting and groomed but you're a bastard so he's probably not going to be particularly happy about that yeah i think he wants you in that role you are strong so again you're not going to be bullied because you're stubborn and deceitful too which means that you'd probably want to do something in your own best interests right Maybe you'd proselytize because you're gregarious. Yeah, probably. You're not charitable, but you are kind. No, I think I think you'd proselytize. Now, there's nowhere that needs you to proselytize. Where are you? You're in Katif, so that's where your power base is. So I think that you would proselytize there, just so you could kind of... See, I have this image that he's a little bit of a, uh, a scoundrel, you know? He doesn't really... You know, he's studied re religion, but because he's not zealous... And he is lustful and gregarious. That makes me think that he'll be out there proselytizing on the streets, trying to, you know, be a little, be a little bit of a showman, a little bit of a, you know, a showstopper, and get the women involved. I, I, I feel that that's the kind of guy this, this guy would be. Yeah, that's how I feel. And he's friends with a, with a woman as well. So. Yeah, that, 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 I think that that makes sense to me. I'm happy with that. No minor titles need given out at the moment. Now, I'm not going to be on my Lieges Council because I'm a child. So, I think I just switched. No, it stopped because I died. Okay. So, nothing we can do there. Nothing we can do here. These. We're in a war that I don't think we need to be in anymore, right? Because we don't actually have an alliance with you anymore, do we? No. We don't even have a non-aggression pact with you anymore. So, I think... What we're actually going to do is dismiss our personal levies. We're going to stand them down. Um, because, yeah, this guy has no links to them, so he doesn't care about that war anymore. So that's... That makes sense, I think. We've done the intrigue, and that is pretty much all we can do for the time being. Uh, betrothed can marry. Uh... Yeah, okay, I guess. I suppose. Who are you, Najran? 
Wait, where, where are you? Okay, you're down here, okay. Okay, so you're right, okay. Uh, okay, uh, so... Oh, she's my mother, okay. Well, Sheik Samir, we might as well form an alliance with you and that marriage, we'll get that done, that'll be fine. Uh, uh, you, reje you reject my insulting suggestion, but I thought you were the one that was actually doing it. You're ruining my head cannon, man. Come on, what's, what, what are you doing? See, now you're saying, okay, but you said yes, and I'm, I'm confused, right, you can get married, yeah, that's fine, let's do that, but then you, who just died from my council as well? My marshal and my imam both went at the same time. Okay, well, let's get new marshals then, I guess. Um, yes, do you, your ambitious, kind, brave. Um, I'm guessing that my court hadn't fully updated. So there right we're over a month now let's that that everything should be fine now right so let's go back into you and arrange this betrothal again so let's get that done and then yeah now we need another court imam but first of all i need to decide what you're gonna do thrifty clerk there's nothing else particularly in you so organize the army makes sense because you're, you're gonna want to streamline it and make it cost less and you know you know what I'm saying business talk so yeah that's fine okay and then we need a new imam only got one choice so it has to be you you're the bastard so we didn't really like you chaste just trusting groomed and a scholarly theologian uh, I guess there's not really anything. Scholarly theologian would suggest that you'd probably just want to study tech, right? Where are you from? Are you just in my... You're just in my realm, yeah. But... Ah, what I could have done is I could have invited a holy man, couldn't I? Ah, I should have done that. Okay, well, you do that for now. Uh, but yeah, I should have invited a holy man. Damn, forgot about that. Uh, who lacks a focus? You are my half-sister. Well, he's your educator, so guess what you're doing? That's right, Faith. Good luck with that. Have fun. Um, and that is about everything that we needed to do, right? I'm pretty sure that's everything in place. We probably need to try and find some more alliances, but I don't think that there's any rush to do that right now. I also don't, I can only have one betrothal, I think, right? I'm pretty sure I can't have more than one betrothal. Let's see if he accepts that betrothal this time. Uh, okay, so you have decided to accept that this time. So there we go. So we have that betrothed in place. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that I can't have another betrothal. Let's just... Uh... Oh, you got attacked. Severely injured. Okay, you're, you're not long for this world. Let's see if 
I can, yeah, see, I'm not here. So I can only have one betrothal. Okay, so that's fine. So we can't do that anyway. So alliances and marriages and things for that reason are going to have to wait until I'm an adult, I'm afraid. There's not much I can do about that right now. We weren't done. That's just reminded me. I need to give away uh, some domain, don't I? I think it's only just... I think it, I've just inherited the, this mosque. I think that's all I'm going to have to give away, actually. Yeah. I don't know if there is a holy man still in my court. If not... What we can do is invite a holy man and just give him the mosque. So I'm just going to quickly check to see if I already have one. If not, I'm going to invite a holy man to court. And then we can give him control of this mosque. And then I think I'd actually be okay with my holdings, to be honest with you. I thought that I was going to have to get rid of loads. Because it said like I had like 10 or 11. Uh, and I could only use 4. But that seems to have changed now. I seem to be able to have 5. Um... And I don't know which holdings I still hold for my own either. So we should probably check that as well, shouldn't we? Nah, I don't have one anymore. I couldn't find one. So I am going to invite a holy man. It's going to be Suleiman Suleiman. Who has arrived at my court ready for employment. Uh, I don't like him that much. But it's not me. It's, it's the regent. But what is he he's a detached priest cruel trusting temperate and arbitrary trusting um but yeah i don't i don't think he likes him so can i just keep i can keep doing that right so if i tell him to be gone yeah i can invite another one so let's see fadil fadalid are you any better still not great but yeah, you're a mystic, so definitely not. No. Um, so, don't want you. Uh, third time's the charm. Uh, Hafiz Hafizid. Okay, I'm sensing a pattern here. Like you even less. Uh, but you are a scholarly theologian. Shy, trusting, stubborn, and wrathful. But you're a scholarly theologian. So that makes more sense. So, we will keep you... Uh, and then we are going to give you the Mosque of Habam. Um, the council votes no. Why are there two free spaces? Oh, my marshal's gone. Okay. Um, who's the highest ranked here? Who weighs uh, you? You're going to be the highest ranked. So, yeah, you're a Wally. So, yeah, you will need to come in here. Gluttonous, just, wrath, lustful, kind, shrewd, grey eminence. Uh, Roth would suggest that you'd want to do some angry stuff, like suppressing revolts. I mean, I don't think we have any revolt risk, but there's nothing wrong with just putting you down on the street. Where are you anyway? You're here. Okay, so this is where you are anyway. So yeah, so you are an angry man, but you're also just and kind. You are an enigma. Wow. Um, I am wrathfully kind. And wrathfully... I mean, wrathfully just is fine. But wrathfully kind doesn't really work. Um, training troops then, maybe? I still think that you would crush revolts. At the moment, there aren't any revolts to crush. So it doesn't really matter, but... I mean... Yeah, it makes a, a rest chance. There you go. So... That seems like it would be... 
the just side of things. Uh, right, where is uh, Hafiz, Hafiz, Haf, Haf, Uh whatever his face is again, where are you? Hafiz Hafizid, there you go. Right, I'm guessing they're still not going to do it, are they? No, it's going to be seen as tyrannical. Right, I'm pretty sure I can't do it anyway, yeah. Okay, so we don't actually want you around them, but I can't, I don't have anyone to give this... I don't have anyone to give it to. Unless you'd want it. Would you want it? No. But I can do it. Everyone's returning a favour to you. So maybe you'd want it? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, there's a bit of a power balance changing. Oh, Sheik Idris. There might be a bit of a... There you go. Well, you get given the mosque, but there might be a bit of a power balance. Yeah, coming in here. This guy is... Uh, he got all of the council against the Grand Vizier, who's severely injured right now, so might not be long for this world. What's his son like? Greedy, lustful, gregarious, trusting, but he's greedy. Ooh. We might have a bit of a power vacuum, a bit of a bit of a dynast dynastic struggle between this guy and this guy. Yeah, that could be a real problem coming up, but I think that I'm back to domain, yep. And then what are what is actually mine? Okay, so we've got some land back. So I've got these two back. This one back. That was mine anyway. That was mine anyway. Oh, oh no, wait. We've lost a well. To my... Yeah, the, the ex-princess. How did we lose that again? See, this is what I'm saying. Succession is really weird in this game. Like, she was just married into the the family. How did she... How did she get this? She is not... She has no claims over this whatsoever. How did she... How did she get it? She literally got it when this guy died. 5th of March, 1008. 23rd of March, yeah. So how did she get this? I don't get how she got control of this. Because she's not related to me. She's not related to him other than marriage. They had no kids. How did this woman who was married into our realm... Not with a claim. She came in as just a marriage with no children, no legal claim or anything like that. How does she get to take this sheikdom off of us? Probably the best developed in our realm as well. That is the, it's the best highly developed Sheik them in our realm and how has she managed to just swoop in and take that with no issues and no problems whatsoever I don't get how she's managed to do that how has that happened if anyone can tell me please let me know exactly how that happens because I genuinely have no idea how this or how or why this keeps happening the random titles of ours just slip out of our grasp and go to some random person who has no claims over them whatsoever, no right to them whatsoever, no family connection, anything. They just randomly get it. Why does that happen? 
She was nowhere in the line of succession for any reason whatsoever. Why has she just taken one of my realms? I don't get how that happens. If anyone can let me know, please do, because it's very, very frustrating and annoying. I mean, at least we got some land back, but that's a big one to lose. There's a lot of tax income that comes from that, that we've just lost from our our domain now for no reason and it hasn't been replaced because i mean this one is dirt poor you know this one isn't too bad this one's poor as well this one's poor you know i it hasn't been replaced well by anything whatsoever so yeah i'm a bit annoyed by that but uh yeah well anyway there we are but as i said yes our guardian our grandfather-in-law well technically i mean we're not married yet but yeah anyway uh our grand vizier our regent the man who holds all of the reins and all of the power has been put in his place by our spy master sheik idris of jeddah there may be a dynastic struggle happening underneath us at some point in the future because we are only three now. There's really not much we can do about anything. Our understanding is very limited. And we're going to come into this world with very much a that's the way it's always been done kind of view. So, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see when that guy dies. If I think his son is going to be up to the challenge of uh, Sheik Idris here. We will have to wait and see about that. And I think that we may find that out next time. So I certainly hope that you join me for that. I want to thank you all for joining me today. And uh, yeah, as I said, certainly hope I see you for that next time. But until then, I bid you all adieu. A good day. And uh, whoa, I've just, hang on, I've just... I've only just seen this just as I was signing out. You're... You've taken the Kingdom of Arabia. How, how, what, but the, the, the Emirate of Arabia, but not the Kingdom of Arabia, that is very confusing. I, you're, you're not going to be anywhere near being able to control Arabia. One, two, three, four. This used to be ours as well. Was it this one? No, it was this one, wasn't it? This used to be ours. Are you independent as well? No, you're not. You're still under him. But this guy's independent. But he still out out muscles me. I can't I can't compete with him because yeah, not a not a very strong guy anymore. Um. Yeah, sorry. I just I just noticed that just as I was signing off. We'll, uh, we'll 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 look into that a little bit more next time. Yeah, but until then, I bid you all adieu, a good day, and a massive GG to you all. Hey, you! Did you like this? Make sure you like, subscribe, check out our other channels, and watch our playlist. Rich D Entertainment.